Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Qualys booth. Um, today, uh, my name is Frank Tucci. I'll be talking about web application security and our integration with our web application firewall, uh, as well as scanning. Uh, with me here is Vicus, and we will be jointly talking about this together. Um, we are really excited about all of the integrations and, and announcements that we've made here at RSA this year. Uh, we have an incredible unified web application security product now offering, uh, integrating our web application scanning with our web application firewall technology and really seamless one-click virtual patching as well. So real quick, we're going to go over the agenda. We're going to use the uh, smart scan integration. Uh, use cases and we're going to introduce scan trust. So first of all application security as you already may know is, is pretty complicated. There are far too many applications. Uh, there are far too many vulnerabilities. Uh, too many teams involved. There might be pieces of web applications that are written in various countries by various teams and it's all kind of brought together. And what that does is it, it definitely introduces a unique a unique problem because what happens is that even though those diverse teams are working on these web applications, you may have changes or new content that's being introduced that it also introduces uh, new vulnerabilities. So application security is also pretty expensive, right? I mean, it, it's, it, it has a business need. You go from the business need to the development. It integrates with all of your back end and front end systems. We have engineers involved at every step of the way. What we need to do is make sure that we're building in the assessments and the mitigations at every level and that your web application security becomes part of your secure development procedures and your processes. And then finally, when it gets to production, you want to make sure that you have as many things addressed before it gets here. Because even when it's in production, you're going to have many, many opportunities for dynamic and, and updated content and for vulnerabilities that may produce themselves that may have not been able to get picked up. Most of them, if not all of them, you should try to get uh, addressed earlier in the cycle. But sometimes this is where we are ending up, right? There's business use cases and business needs that make production uh, deployment of web applications crucial. Again, a little bit more uh, of what I went there. So, so if we look at Qualys, um, we, we do something a little bit unique, right? We give you a holistic type of approach to uh, information security. It starts with asset view. And we, we round it off to basically what I'm going to do is simplify that we are we are cataloging and being your um, your your authoritative uh, source for asset information, but from there, what we're also doing is being able to discover. Um, there are not a lot of competition or companies out there that are doing a really good job at discovering and cataloging those assets, as well as making sure that those assets are secure at the same time. So if you look here, we have really a, a holistic view of everything that we can do. So we, anything from managing assets to discovery of those uh, vulnerabilities or, excuse me, discovery of those applications and content, host systems, doing discovery scans, not just for web applications, but for IPs or anything new that shows up, doing continuous monitoring, any new um, open port, any new web app, anything new that may pop up, you can set a custom rule to be alerted at any time. From there, we have incredible metrics to be able to view through Threat Protect. We have compliance solutions. This right here is where we'll be focusing today. We have web application scanning. Beyond the web application scanning, we're discovering, we're scanning. Then once we find the vulnerabilities, we're able to one click and seamlessly be able to provide a virtual patch before the code can be fixed. There may be code that takes a little bit of time or a change control patch or a maintenance cycle or there's legacy code that can't be fixed. So what do you do when you can't actually have developers change that code but you still need to be protected? That's where the web application firewall comes in. The malware detection is also built in with our web application scanning. And we are utilizing the strength of the malware detection engine to find malware that may be hosted on your site. The, the days of defacement are completely over. If, if you have a high traffic web application and I'm able to um, find a vulnerability to gain access, I'm not changing to your page to ha ha ha, you've been hacked. I'm, I'm just not doing it. I'm hiding a dropper or, or a malware or something that's going to feed to a botnet or something like that. And I'm going to be able to detect that as well and immediately notify you 
uh, with our malware detection service. But we're here today again uh, to, to give a quick review of, of our offerings in the web application security suite. Again, all starting with asset view and asset management for shared assets. This could be web servers, web applications, anything that may have to do that, that's in your environment, you could tie to web application security and share out those um, asset maintain. Obviously, as you see here, you find an asset. We found an application. We can instantly associate it with uh, WAF and WAS modules. By doing that, you're going to enable the one. Uh, you're going to enable the uh, virtual patching. Again, the cornerstone being able to provision. And I'm going to skip through some of these because I think that what you'd like to see is the detection and the patching of the vulnerabilities. Now, our web application scanner has gone through many iterations of advancement. Um, last year, we were very excited to announce the single page applications and support for all the newer frameworks, all the newer Angular, uh, JS, React, DWR, GWT, whatever uh, Ajax heavy or single page applications, fully supported and scannable for all of the different new uh, frameworks and web technologies. So that was rolled out last year. This year, we have some amazing uh, new integrations that, or excuse me, amazing new capabilities that got rolled out as part of WAS 5.0. Being able to scan REST, RESTful services, scanning with an automated scanner, not too many people are doing it. It took us a long time and a lot of de development cycles to get it right. Um, and so we're rolling that out right now as well. And then being able to patch your backend APIs or, or your REST services that may feed your mobile applications or you may feed any kind of web services that you have and being able to virtually patch those as well. Detect, report vulnerabilities. Again, share your applications. Do the centrally managed virtually patch cycle. Now, what we also did was we introduced something called Scan Trust. And what Scan Trust is going to allow you to do is Scan Trust is going to allow you to create a virtual patch for a vulnerability that you may have found with WAS and be able to test that. So now I can tell somebody, yeah, okay, I found something, I patched something, but am I positive it's working right? Well, what we do is we launch a follow up scan with WAS. We have a uh, proprietary uh, excuse me, authentication method there, which we allow the traffic to go from WAS to our WAF to the virtual patch, and it will instantly show you what the behavior um, of that scan comes back as to verify that that virtual patch that you put in, uh, again, is being effective, and then being able to actually report your metrics effectively to leadership uh, that, that those vulnerabilities are effectively being mitigated. Again, you find the vulnerability. It's a simple, simple uh, install patch, one click, and you're going to be able to have a virtual patch created in a rule on the firewall in rapid fashion. Um, and with that, I'm going to turn over my presentation here to uh, Vikas Fonso, who's the Director of Product Management for Web Application Firewall. After this presentation, we will both be around. If you have any questions or inquiries or would like to see any demoed services, please inquire. Thank you. Thank you. Hi all, uh, my name is Vikas Fonsa. I'm Director of Product Management uh, at Qualys for the Web Application Firewall. Um, so Frank uh, set the stage for my discussion and I'll carry it forward. Uh, there are several problems that we're looking to address here that application security professionals face. Number one is, you know, detection of vulnerabilities is only 50% of the application security, right? Once you have found the vulnerabilities, what do you do with them? Uh, uh, you know, unless you have the right tools, the, the approach would be to talk to your development team, put make code changes and, and deploy those to productions. But that process is very expensive. It could take weeks, months to patch those in your application. And that's one of the problems that we'll solve. The other thing is the, you know, if you're familiar with the with web, web application firewalls or WAFs, there is this issue of false positives. If you throw in a bunch of, uh, you know, signatures to detect SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and other attacks, you know, you, you, your, your application might be using cookies or headers, um, you know, which have SQL uh, characters that look like uh, characters from SQL, for example, right? And they may not be, like, genuine attack vectors, uh, but your WAF will detect it, and you will have too much noise and you will not be able to figure out effectively what is a real attack vector that your application is vulnerable to or not, right? So that's another problem we're looking to solve. 
And the, the third problem is that, say you bought a WAF, now how do you test whether this WAF is effective or not? So, you know, in a you know, typical fashion, you will probably write your own scripts to do that testing. Uh, but, you know, what if you had a comprehensive scanning tool that could, you know, mount a bunch of attack vectors against your web application and actually see what your WAF will do? Uh, in case those attacks come through. So that's the third problem. The fourth problem, on the first slide we said um, there are too many systems to manage, right? That's another problem we're looking to solve. So we, with our continuous, uh, we have a unified interface, you get um, a consolidated uh, uh, you know, interface to manage all your security configuration, uh, evaluate your scanning uh, results, apply virtual patches, um, look at what kind of vulnerabilities the WAF detected, do the whole end-to-end um, you know, management of your web application scanning and web application firewall. So let's first talk about uh, the virtual patching feature. So, I, and I'll do a little demo in a little bit. So basically what this feature provides you is that, you know, because this is an integrated feature between our VAS, which is our scanner and our WAF, you run a scan, you detect a bunch of vulnerabilities with a single click, you can virtually patch any one of those vulnerabilities. Effectively, you know, it solves the 50% of the, the remaining 50% of the problem that I talked about. You found the vulnerabilities, what do you do about them? You can effectively patch that in our WAF. You should still make code changes and, you know, those will come to production sometimes afterwards, but this reduces the burden and the, and the time to fix. And the other thing is that these vulnerabilities are extremely specific vulnerabilities that our scanner has detected. In your, in your application. So when you virtually patch those, you are confident that you're patching something real that your application is vulnerable to. You're not just s s throwing a bunch of signatures in front of it. We, we do have those signatures also, but this makes it much more specific and it helps mitigate the, the problem of false positives. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so the other part is the scan trust feature. So scan trust feature, what it lets you do is that you can deploy our WAF and use our scanner to test the security provided by our WAF. So um, the, our WAF will de detect all these requests coming from our scanner and it will not block those requests. It will just evaluate uh, and tell you what response, uh, what action it would have taken if you had enabled WAF in the blocking mode. And you can see the results of it. If the WAF um, has the capability to block any of those attack vectors, they will show up in the report uh, with a little protected um, sign next to them. So you can effectively deploy the WAF, you know, test your scanner, test your web application, and test the security provided by your WAF in one single pass. And that's what this uh, scan trust feature lets you do. Okay, so this is, these are the screens where uh, you will set that scan trust feature. And, um, you know, like basically there's a checkbox here um, and, and the scan trust checkbox. If you check that, then WAF knows that the requests are coming from uh, from the scanner, and it will it will respond appropriately. It will send appropriate responses and not uh, you know do take any blocking action on those. So the protected status that you see over there, this is a new detection status that uh, was we introduced with the introduction of the scan trust feature. So that status basically tells you, hey you're protected by your WAF against the, that specific um, vulnerability or that specific attack vector. Just another screenshot of that. And of course, uh, in our WAF, you know, we'll take a look at this also. It gives you a record of every specific vulnerability uh, that WAF has detected, gives you details in terms of the specific attack vector, where the request came from, and a whole bunch of details. And there are also some very easy actions you can take from this screen. For example, let's say you, you thought that this attack vector is, is a false positive and you're, you don't really care about it. You can create an exception from that screen and any future requests that come that try to leverage that attack vector will be ignored by WAF. And another like really good measure that lets you minimize the, the noise and the false positives. Okay, so key benefits, you know, you're doing simultaneous assessment of your scanner, 
of your web application and of the security provided by your web application firewall. Comprehensive tool, you know, it, it, there, there is inline virtual patching built into it, and all of this is centrally managed from our one portal. You don't have to go to five different interfaces to run a scan, to deploy virtual patches, look at the results, evaluate that. All is done through our cloud uh, suite portal. Okay, so in terms of what's coming next, you know, because this VAS WAF integration and uh, this unified platform is one of the core strengths of our web application security offering, we are going to look at continuously improving that. And uh, there'll be enhanced reporting, there'll be more custom rules based on and virtual patching, um, and we'll be, le we'll be leveraging the VAS WAF integration to improve the sitemap. So, you know, WAF, if effectively deployed in front of your application, is seeing every single request that's coming through, right? So, um, you know, it, you might not be even aware of many URLs that exist in your application, but WAF is seeing those URLs. So we will leverage that, uh, that intelligence coming through the WAF uh, to, to power the sitemap feature that we have. Okay, so at that point, I'm going to jump into our portal and uh, look at these features. Okay, so this is uh, the dashboard of our web application firewall. Uh, gives you information in terms of the volume of uh, security events that WAF is detecting. A um, little bit information about your request volume and, and bandwidth. And also, you know, gives you a nice little map of where all these requests are coming from. If you go to the events view, So here you can you know dig deeper into each specific event. You can see exactly what is it that uh, that was wrong that WAF found in this uh, this rec this request. Here you can see that this looks like a, a SQL injection attack. You know very common vector used for testing. Uh, it shows you where exactly the request came from. Um, and if you want to let like, let's say you you know you saw an attack and you know something that WAF blocked or detected and you don't care for it, and you want to create an exception for it in the future. You can create an exception, you know, and, and once this uh, exception is applied, WAF will consider this as a legitimate request and not block this in future. So you can create exceptions uh, very helpful in minimizing false positives. So because the topic uh, today is the VAS WAF integration, let's go over uh, to the, the web application scanning interface. Okay, so if I look at uh, one of these scans, let's see this one. So, so this is um, running against a public website that is running a budget vulnerable store. And uh, this scan found a bunch of vulnerabilities. And uh, let's pick one of these. So if I look at this one, for example, and uh, let's take this URL. So in this case, you know, what's basically happening is that this little script tag got injected into the body of the request, uh, body of the page. So by itself, not a very serious vector, but what it can indicate is that you're potentially vulnerable to cross-site scripting uh, I injection attacks now, right? So um, let so my, my scanner has detected this, so I want to patch it. So how do I do that? I just click here, review the details, and hit OK. So at this point, you have applied a virtual patch uh, to mitigate this particular attack vector. And we'll, we'll go back, it, it's, it'll probably take 30 to 60 seconds for it, this to get applied, and we'll go back and take, a look at, take another look at that in a little bit. Okay, so um, this screen shows you results of a scan trust scan. So this is the protected status um, you know, that I mentioned earlier. Basically what it's telling you is that WAF has effectively recognized and detected this payload and, and, and you have effectively tested you know, using our web application scanning how effective this is the security that is provided by our WAF. So this integrated solution, again, to repeat myself, not only lets you, you know, uh, apply virtual patches to mitigate legitimate uh, attack vectors that, are, that your site is vulnerable to, 
It lets you create virtual patches for those, and it also lets you test the security provided by your web application firewall. Okay, so I just refreshed that page. So the virtual patch that I applied, this site is running in AWS. It was applied to it, and then you know the next request that came through that tried to leverage that uh, that attack vector was blocked by our VAF. So you know you can see how easy it is to block those attack vectors. Other interesting pieces, you know, let's say your end website end users see this blocked page, they will see this transaction ID, and let's say they pick up the phone and call your support. You can use this transaction ID to go back to our portal and and uh, search for this specific event it will give you all the details you can find out what exactly happened do a detailed investigation and take some action against it yeah okay so uh, with that that's pretty much the end of our uh, presentation we are uh, we do have a VAF specific talk we have done couple uh, couple of those in the last two days we have another one coming tomorrow if you want to learn more about VAF please join th those talk and um, at this point we'll open it up to question and answers and you can also come talk to us um, afterwards if you if you want more details.